Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you all. It is a privilege, it is a blessing to be in the studios of the evangelist ministry and preach the gospel to all of you, my friends. From the studios of the evangelist ministry, we spread the good news about Jesus and his saving grace. Our mission is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. The topic of this morning is how to discern the Spirit of God. Let's open the Bible. Let's open the Bible and we see the first John chapter 4 verse 1 to 10. I say first John chapter 4 verse 1 to 10. The Bible reads this way, my friends. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now already in the world. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from, from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world and the world listen to them. We are from God and whoever knows God listening to us but whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Very interesting how to discern the Spirit of God. John. John and his purpose. John wrote these letters with two very basic purposes in mind to expose the false prophets to the public and to believers. Beloved, believe not spirit. Uh, he said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit where they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. That's what John said. 
and expose the knowledge of eternal life. We're talking about salvation. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the of the Son of God, that you might know that you have eternal life, and that you might believe on the name of the Son of God. So first John chapter 5, verse 13. Now we can see, my friends, my friends, first John declares. That the Spirit of God give us security. Let's think about. He said, John declared that the Spirit of God give us security by saying, and he that keep his commandment dwell in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abide in us by the Spirit which He had given us, according to 1 John 3.24. But how can you discern what is the Spirit of God? <clears throat> My dear friend, and not the Spirit of the tempter. How know that we have not been led to the wrong path? Well, my dear friends, <clears throat> there are instructions to know the truth. If we read the, the first John chapter 4, you will see that there are so many instructions to know the truth. Bible says, let's think about this. It said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Say first, verse first. And in a few words, my dear friends, put it into the test. A test if the Holy Spirit lead a person. Is if he belief of that person agree with the truth of the word of God. Let's test it. If that person who is speaking right now uh, 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 agree with the truth of the word of God. Who is a liar but he that denied that Jesus is, is Christ. He is Antichrist. That denied the Father and the Son. According to 1 John chapter 2, verse 22. Wherefore, I give you to understand. He said, wherefore, I give you to understand that no man is speaking by the Spirit of God called Jesus Christ a curse. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians. Chapter 12, verse 3. Means, a curse mean curse, imprecation, the desire that someone suffer. My dear friend, we should not believe everything we see or can hear. Just because someone said that, a, that a, is the inspired message of God. There are many ways to check. As I told you before, if the message really comes from God and our way is to compare his word with what God said in the Holy Bible, it's very simple. The person surrounded of the believers, they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been on us, they would not doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. First John chapter 2, verse 19. And then, my dear friends, we have to understand, but acquaintances are those who do not have God. They are acquaintances, they know my friend, they know my brother, they are acquaintances. Acquaintances are those who do not have God. 
He said, anyone who goes astray and does not persevere in the doctrine of Christ does not have God in his heart. But my dear friends, let's think about this. But acquaintances are those who do not have God. We cannot call them brothers or sisters in Christ. He said that anyone who goes astray and does not persevere in the doctrine of, of Jesus Christ does not have God. The believer and his life. And this is his commandment. That we should believe on the name of, of his son Jesus Christ. And love one another. As he gave us commandments, he said, love one another one. He said the, in this one, and he that keep his commandment dwell in him and in he and him. And hereby we know that he abide in us by the spirit which he had given us, according to 1 John chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. We are of God. He that know God, hear us. He that is not of God, hear not us. Hear not with the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, according to verse 6. Let's think about when you have the time, you can read the first John chapter 4, verse 1 to the 10. And then the Bible said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that do the will of my Father which is in heaven. Let's think about that. How many people claim to be Christians? How many people claim to be followers of Jesus Christ? But the Bible said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, will shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, said Matthew 7, 21. So John has many opponents. I believe that he has many enemies in, in his time. John has these opponents claiming to be Follower of Jesus Christ. Like today. But they are beings that do not do the will of God. How is it possible that you can claim to be a godly person? Or a child of God? And you don't do the will of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Is not of God. And this is that the spirit of Antichrist, wherefore you have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world. According to verse 3. And this is the spirit that many brothers and sisters in Christ have in the faith. That brings a strife. And set back to the church. Bring problems to the church. Because they don't have the spirit of God. John said. But you have the unction. From the Holy One. And you know all things. Say 1 John chapter 2 verse 20. These be they who separate themselves. A sensual. Having not the spirit. These people who make many problems in church and bring division into the churches, the Bible said they are sensual, sensual, having not the spirit of God, according to Judah, verse 19. Now, we realize now. We see that John exhorts us that we should not receive 
or recognize or participate with someone who promotes a false doctrines or someone who is not of our faith. If they are come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither by him God is speak. For he that uh, abide him, God is spirit and partaken of his evil deed. Say first John, second John chapter 10, verse 11. And then <clears throat> at the end, John instruct us, not just his people on the past, but he give instruction for us. Where the power is. Because we are all the Christian, we have the power of the Holy Spirit. But John instruct us where power is. He who has God, his power is not far from his life. He said, let's think about this. He said, you are of God. Little children. And have overcome them because greater is he that is in you. Let's think about it. Greater, he said, greater is he that is in you than he that is on the world. It's very powerful verse that we can read there in verse 4. They are from God. It means more than belong. Rather, it indicates that God was the sources of the original attitude and, and no attitude and his actions. The one is in us. It's the Holy Spirit. Who is in the world? It's the devil. My dear friends, we can get into a great conclusion tonight. John instruct, instruct who heard the Antichrist, the world. They are of the world, they are for a speak day of the world, and the world heard them. The only people who listen to the Antichrist is the people that never been saved, people that never accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. He said, they are of the world. They are for a speak day of the world, and the world hear them. Say verse 5. Let's think about people do not hear us because we are not of the world. It's very urgent that, that we must be different from the world then. We as a Christian, we must be different. We should be different than the world. We are commanded to be different. The Bible said, and be not conforming to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God say Romans chapter 12 verse 2 my dear friends the true Christian will recognize and willingly accept the gospel the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ we can get into our conclusion and say if Christ if Jesus Christ is my comfort, if Jesus Christ lives in my heart of each one of us, we can discern the evil spirit. Do you understand? If Jesus Christ lives in our heart, in the heart of each one of us, we can discern the evil spirit. Overcome the enemy because our strength and power come from the fact that we are children of God. We are the chosen ones. We are the select ones of God. And so, to prevent the enemy entering into our territory, and we are victory. And we can have victory if we just trust the good Lord. My dear friends, thank you for your time. 
and have a good night. God bless you and God bless America.